Hello everybody, my name is Yuki. And I'm Will. And welcome to the Minecraft UHC Season 20 Commentary Show. Episode 1. Yay! Yay. So, we're going to be just making commentary based on what happens in the UHC. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. So, to start out, Season 20 we have the teams Nancy Drew... Potty Mouth, New People, Leftovers. We need Red to figure out a name for us because we couldn't figure one out ourselves. And then Arcus on his own. But he will be joining one of the other teams at some point. Which might be very soon, considering Arcus. Um, Arcus. Seth Blank's team, which was Ogre. Uh, I don't know them by the name. They're the Leftovers. Yes, um, uh, that's Kurt, Doc, MC, and Seth. Uh, Aurelian is on New People. Yes, Aurelian, Chad, Co-Star, and Sevidus. And who's who's the other one? I think it was... Vex it was not... Yeah, I think it was Vex. Yeah, the team's Vex uh, on. Vex is the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we need Riot to figure out a name for us because we couldn't figure one out ourselves. Uh, that is... Vex, Packrat, Nebris, and BTC. So, all of them are all, in, in from the, the looks of it, in the same jungle. Yeah. And they've all run into a rabbit. Yes. Oh my gosh, the rabbits. Is it a killer rabbit? Probably not. It's, well, we don't know. It's a white rabbit of unknown disposition, as Kurt put it. Yeah. The Okay, the only thing I can really give them is that they did see the rabbit from behind. Well, also, uh, Kurt's team especially, uh, they started up in the trees. Right. So team Leftovers started up in the trees, and the rabbit was just kind of below them. But as soon as they got low enough, if yeah. the rabbit was hostile, I mean, it's automatically hostile. It goes after you. Well, the thing is, none of them have encountered a killer rabbit before. I'm, I guess. They haven't, and I play more Minecraft than... Uh, at least more than Kurt and Seth. Well, granted, when Probably Seth I'm always sure. does videos about the um, snapshots, so he knew about all the mechanics of the Deadly Rabbits. But how do go with that? Anyway, so the uh, theme of, or the variant for this team, other than Arcus being on his own, is it's kind of what they did back in Season 9, it is the last team left alive or the first team to kill the dragon. Yes, which I think is really interesting because, granted, to be able to kill the dragon, you'll have to kill some endermen and actually get ender pearls, and you have to go to the nether to get, what is it, blaze powder? Yes. Yes. So it there's a lot of risk to doing it, but technically, if you can do that quickly enough, you could win without having to kill anybody. You can, but you have to kill the Ender Dragon. Right. That, that you can get really unlucky, as uh, you and Saul yeah. saw on our first fight on our server. Um, so there's that. Yeah, last time they did this was in Season 9. But actually, the first two UHCs were... they. It was Team Nancy Drew trying to kill the Ender Dragon. So... It's nice to go back to that. Uh, another thing they've done is they've made the rule, no portal trapping. Yeah, no portal trapping. That's actually really nice because... Season 19. It really Vex's ruined it. perspective. <laughs> yeah. Season 19 just Vex's perspective. He literally spent three episodes doing nothing. So, and that's not a joke. I, I watched all of them. Getting rid of <sighs> portal trapping, that, that was a really good idea. You know what's funny, though, is... You know, I think I've seen almost all the seasons, and while the, everyone always traps portals, I think that's the only one where trapping a portal really came into play. Yeah. And uh, actually, season nine, the, uh, somebody did try to trap the end portal, but something that nobody seemed to know, and I was surprised. End uh, portal. Yeah, as in when you go to the end. Oh, okay. 
uh, when you spawn in on that platform, all the blocks and lignites oh, yeah, on yeah. it just disappear. So uh, one of the teams had laid down lava, and somebody else went to the end, and the lava wasn't there. <clears throat> And let's see, there's also Melanopoly. <laughs> the Melanopoly. Not such a successful mission. Granted, it might actually become fruitful because Vamos. even though Team Leftovers did get tons of melon, several other teams did as well. Yeah. Oop. But they started eating them. Yes, but each uh, those teams all had so many. I think I did just, you just throw ahead. I did. I hit my throat. <laughs> who did Good I? Good job. <laughs> can't see who I throw. Let me. Uh... Oh, I can't see it from this angle. Oh, it's Doc. Oops. Sorry, Doc. Oh well. He'll he'll be okay. But now there's just a random. You have <laughs> nothing in your hand. <laughs> yes. Um. So anyway. anyways. So yeah, they they kind of had all the melons. And then turns out everybody else also has melons. Yeah, so that one wasn't the yeah. most successful. However, this one, this time they actually do have a really big race to want to get to the nether. Yeah, because uh, there's so many people who can make the health potions. Yeah. You Usually you don't need to go to the nether and actually it's very detrimental most of the time though if you're successful you end up like uh was it was it red team or blue team last season that had all those potions i can't remember it was blue because vex was on red i think which i remember because of you know his red hat oh also chad was on that team and red hair so yeah so blue team ended up pretty right, much yeah. overpowered because they, still lost. they were yes, because they were stupid about it. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's not the point of this video. So we've already covered that uh, video. We did. So I think it will be an interesting season. Do you have any pred uh, predictions? So, yes. Um, I think several of the teams are actually going to do their best to actually try to get to the end and fight the end dragon because I feel like people are going to want to try to do that more because every season it is just a fight to the death for the most part I think so it's uh, something new it's something different I think Nancy uh, team Nancy Drew discussed their plan was they were going to wait till somebody else entered and then go immediately after them yeah uh so one interesting thing, Vex and BTC, this is at least their third time on the same team. Hmm. What's the, and it seems like they end up on the same team a lot. Well, I think they actually I think they said that they chose their teams this time. They did. So this time, I mean, yeah. There was no coincidence about it. Yeah. Um <clears throat> oh, adding adding more to the insult. Uh, one of the oh, ways yes. that they're yes. one of the one of the ways of destroying the end dragon crystals is snowballs, and since everybody is in a taiga, Seth's team grabbed a bunch of snowballs and yes. brought up if Pro it does any knockback or slash damage. damage. Oh, oh wait, no, that has to be an egg. Yep. Mm. Um. <sighs> Vex gets a lot of crap because he's done a lot of stupid things. Uh, but that was by far the worst. It's kind of like uh, Badge still gets crap for uh, in like one of the really early seasons. He spent an episode staring at wheat he was trying to grow. Beautiful. And so uh, at some point he will often make a hoe just to get the achievement so everybody can make fun of him. Okay, so to wrap this up, let's hop off our horses. I mean, let's get out of our chairs. Go grab and, Don's head. And let's fix my FOV. Oh, and one 
one other comment I'll make uh, for my prediction. Based on something Kurt said a different back in uh, a different series in Farlands or Bust, I have a feeling Kurt won't be lasting too long. So, so this is our wall of players. They are sorted by team. We've got their heads. We're going to dress them up in armor eventually. Eventually. And There's there are a number of hearts by the end of the video. Or at the very least, by the last time someone clicked tab. Yes. Is listed as such. So we've got team extremely long name. Uh, let me... We need Reddit to figure out a name for us because we couldn't figure one out ourselves. They're all sitting at still 10. Good job, guys. Are they the only team to yeah. have full 10? Yeah. They're the only ones with full 10. Well, um, until team that Leftovers. Seth. Yes. Uh, Seth, Seth, not uh, just getting hit by a skeleton, but also hit by his own teammate. Yeah. Kurt remaining the Over a the chicken. Iron. Kurt remaining the Iron Curtain, as usual. Um, these people. Uh, that is Team Potty Mouth. Potty Mouth, that was it. Potty Mouth doing pretty stinking good. Yeah. Just Anders L getting a little hurt. Yeah, just a bit. The new people. Um. Uh, they're in a little bit of a rough shape. Yeah, it's. I guess you can say, well, they are new at this, but they've all been in a UHC before. Granted, when they went into the ravine, they did have a lot of trouble with some skeletons. Yes. Skeletons so. tend to be the enemy in every UHC. And Team Nancy Drew. They're, They're oh. sitting pretty. Yeah, Badge took a bit of damage, but... Yeah. And then Lonely Lonely Arcus. Oh, he won't be lonely for too long, though. But he is still perfectly fine. Yeah. So, that is lineup. As people die, we are going to be knocking them out of here and moving them over there to... Oh, you put up signs. Yes. The Hall of the Dead, or the Loser's Circle. Yes, beautiful. So, as people die, that's where they're going to go. And when Arcus gets on, on a, a team... team he his... will be moved to that team. Uh, well, he probably won't get moved. We can move him. Oh, okay, that, that, that'll be annoying. It okay. will, but we can do it. Maybe Nancy Drew will find him first. That'd, That'd be, be nice. <laughs> or or I guess it would also be alright if Team We Need Red to figure out a name for us because we can't we yeah, couldn't figure one for ourselves. Too. As long as he doesn't have to go right there. Yeah, basically as long as Team New People doesn't find him. Yeah. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. This is going to be a series that happens every other day. Because yep, as the release of each UHC episode happens. Yeah, so it'll be the day after the UHC comes out. So since technically, oh, actually technically yesterday for us, UHC yeah. episode 1 came out, so commentary 1. Then tomorrow UHC 2 comes out, so commentary 2 will be on Thursday. Yep. So yes. And uh, we do watch each team's perspective. So, if we didn't mention something that happened to one of the teams, it's just we didn't find it as interesting as other stuff. So, so let us know what you guys are thinking about UHC 20 down in the comments below. And if anyone has any interesting points to bring up, we'll bring it up in the next episode. Yep, and we will have discussion on it. So, for now, my name has been Yuki. And I've been Will. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.